Hello everyone, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm Arif, your Cloud Learning Journey Partner. Today's video, I'm sure that you're gonna enjoy because today we're gonna test ChatGPT intelligence level. So we're gonna ask a few questions from AWS exams and see whether ChatGPT can answer the questions. So the way I'm planning to do it, first I will ask a few easy questions from Cloud Practitioner exam, then I'll ask the medium level question from Associate exam, and finally, we'll ask the toughest questions from AWS Solutions Architect Professional exam. So Today we're gonna find out whether ChatGPT is uh, good enough to understand cloud computing. So before we start in the video, just want to talk about myself. Well, I'm uh, Arif. I do have more than eight years of experience in cloud computing. I have multiple certification in AWS, Azure, Google Cloud platform, and I also hold uh, CISSP and CCSP certification. You can see my certification in the background. Besides that, I have uh, work experience in multiple companies. I can mention IBM as an example. So this channel is all about cloud computing and uh, cloud security. So if you are interested in this field, this channel is definitely for you. So I'm planning to upload more and more videos to uh, related to cloud computing and cybersecurity. If you're interested in this field, then please like and subscribe to my channel because I will upload tons of videos, guys. Yeah, so without further delay, let's get it started. So at the very beginning of this video, what I did, I opened uh, these three sample questions. The first one is uh, AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner sample questions. So here you can see we got almost like 10 sample questions and these questions are coming from AWS. So these questions are really good and uh, we also got answers uh, at the very last page we can uh, compare ChatGPT answer with these answers to find out whether ChatGPT is smart enough to answer these questions uh, perfectly so that's uh, for the uh, easy part that's the uh, aws uh, certified cloud practitioner one and the uh, same way i open the other one that is aws certified solutions architect associate so it, this is more of a like medium level of difficulty questions so here we'll see all the questions like 10 questions and uh, likewise you'll see the answers at the very end of this uh, document and for the hardest part i open the aws certified solutions architect professional it is uh, a known fact that whenever we're talking about this uh, aws certified uh, solutions are professional exam this is the hardest one guys so if uh, aws uh, questions for the professional exam test questions can be answered correctly by chat gpt then i will be say, very surprised and ms2 uh, uh, if uh, chat gpt can answer these questions uh, perfectly so yeah so uh that's the three sort of questions and the way i am dividing the questions so if i want to cover all these 30 questions it's gonna be a very long video so what i'm gonna do at the very first the for the easiest part i'm gonna um kind of like ask three questions so three are done then uh, for the medium i'm gonna ask four questions for the uh, associate level and i'm gonna ask three very difficult questions from the professional so in this way we're covering uh, all three and uh, uh, we are just only asking 10 questions to keep this uh, video short and precise so here in the another tab i have opened uh, the chat gpt console so i'm really excited guys so uh, let's uh, move into the first uh, question the easiest one so i'm gonna choose any random questions basically not uh, the first one or something like that so i'm trying to be a little bit creative in here so yes yeah, so this question which of the following aws responsibility under the AWS shared responsibility model. Okay. That's a good question from my understanding. So I'm going to ask this question. I'm going to copy it guys and uh, paste it in here. Okay. And is it, it's very fast. ChatGPT just came up with the answer just within a millisecond. So according to the chat GPT, the answer should be B. So if we go through the question once again, that is which of the following is AWS responsibility under AWS shared responsibility model. So we got the option configuring third party application, maintaining physical hardware, securing application, access data, and managing guest operating system. So according to chat GPT, the answer should be B, maintaining physical hardware. Uh, and it also came up with a very good explanation why it is. So that's very, very good. So if I go back to here, this document and the question number is five. If I see the answer for the question of five, 
and this is correct guys that means chat gpt knows exactly so uh, uh this is amazing so i'm really impressed with the first question and now let's move forward and try to ask uh, one more question in here so why is aws more economical than traditional data centers for application with varying compute workload this is also a good question and it is uh, a big question so it requires a lot a little bit more thinking so i'm gonna go with this question as a second question i'm gonna ask this one let's see what happens guys so uh here i'm gonna paste it in here and see and boom within a second ChatGPT answered the question with very good explanation uh, so according to ChatGPT, the answer should be C. Amazon EC2 instances can be launched on demand when needed. So let's find it out whether it's correct or not. So that question number was one. And uh, if we see the answers, and this is correct. Amazing. So we have asked two questions. Out of questions, both questions are, are answered correctly by ChatGPT. Wow. Just wow. Now I'm gonna ask the third question from the easy section and then we can move forward uh, for, uh, for this uh, astrocellular question which are medium and difficulty level. So uh, let's ask the last question from here. Oh my god, ChatGPT is very intelligent. So how does system administrator add an additional layer of login security to a user's AWS management console? That's a very good question. So there are four options. I'm gonna copy this one and I'm gonna go here and paste it in here. Let's see what happens. And uh, according to ChatGPT, the answer should be C, enable multi-factor authentication. Wow. So here, if I go to the answer section for seven, it's C, multi-factor authentication. That's amazing. That means if ChatGPT sit for this AWS uh, Cloud Practitioner exam, like it will get like 100% marks because out of three, it answered all the three questions uh, correctly. Oh my God, it's very powerful. So the easiest, uh, easiest uh, questions are done. Now let's move forward to a little bit more challenging questions that are coming from AWS Certified Solutions architect associate exam so these questions what are we are seeing in here these questions are uh, amazing because these are the sample questions that are provided by aws in real exam scenario you're gonna face the same sort of questions so um, if uh, we can answer these questions uh, correctly that means we are ready for the exam the same thing should be uh, considered for the chat gpt let's see whether chat gpt can answer these medium level questions correctly all right so uh these questions are also big uh, in size. You see the words, uh, the wording is a little bit complex. Let's see. Okay, this question, a company plans uh, to run a monitoring application on an Amazon EC2 instance in a VPC. Connections are made to the EC2 instance using the instance private IPv4 address. A solutions architect needs to design a solution that will allow traffic to be quickly directed to a standby EC2 instance if the application fails and becomes unreachable. Which approach will meet this requirement? So here we came up of quite a bit of scenarios. So this would be a very good uh, test for ChatGPT. I'm really excited for this part. <laughs> so I'm gonna copy this one, these four options and go to the ChatGPT section and I'm gonna paste it in here. Let's see. And according to ChatGPT, the answer should be A, which uh, stands for this one. So deploy an application load balancer configured with a listener for the private IP address and register the primary EC2 instance with the load balancer. Upon failure, deregister at the instance and registered the standby EC2 instance. That's a smart answer. Let's see whether it's correct or not. Uh, so it's A. And the question number is three. Let's see from the answer section. Uh, this time, this time, guys, uh, uh, ChatGPT is not correct. 
<laughs> See, for this question, for three, the answer according to AWS, it should be C. So that means uh, the answer should be uh, C, a secondary elastic network interface can be added to EC2 instance while primary network interface cannot be detached from the instance. Secondary network interfaces can be detached and attached to a different EC2 instance. So here we go. ChatGPT needs a little bit more uh, understanding of cloud computing. It's not good enough to answer this question. So out of four questions, three questions are answered correctly and one wrong. Let's move forward uh, to the question number five. So, um, I like this question. This one asked to, this was is asking to choose two answers. It will be interesting one. So a company security team requires that all data stored in the cloud can be encrypted at rest at all time using encryption keys stored on premises. Which encryption option meet this uh, requirement? Select two. All right. So I'm going to copy this one and go to the, the chat GPT page and I'm going to paste this one. And according to ChatGPT, it's uh, B and D. So it's a uh, user side encryption with AWS KMS management keys, SSC KMS, and the second option, uh, the, the second choice is uh, use uh, client side encryption to provide at uh, rest encryption. So it's B and D. So if we go back in here for number five, let's see the answer from the official guide. Again, it's uh, not hundred percent correct. It should be B and D, but uh, uh, it should be C and D. But uh, ChatGPT answered it as C and D. So that means that we can't just fully rely on uh, ChatGPT whenever uh, we uh, are dealing with some uh, cloud-related stuff. Still, ChatGPT needs uh, more understanding of cloud computing. So out of five, two, we got two wrong answers in this case. So let's move forward to the question number six. So uh, for question number six, I'm gonna choose something here. This question that a solutions architect wants to design a solutions to save cost for Amazon EC2 instances that uh, do not need to run during a two week company shutdown. Uh, the application uh, running on the EC2 instances store data in instance memory that must be present when the instances resume operation, which approach should be the solution so I can recommend to shut down and resume the EC2 instances? So it's a very good question. So it needs a little bit of thinking too, because uh, here we have uh, a condition that we need to meet. Okay, I'm gonna copy this one. This is number two from the guide. And I'm gonna paste it in here under ChatGPT and uh, according to ChatGP, the answer should be C, run the applications on EC2 instance enabled on Hibernation, Hibernate the instances before the two weeks company shut down. Well, that's uh, the answer from ChatGPT, answer C. And if we see the answer from the answer section for number two, this time it got it correct. Good job, ChatGPT. So that was a, a tough question, but uh, ChatGPT could answer it correctly. So the sixth number, sixth number question is uh, correct. So out of the six, four were answered correctly, and uh, ChatGPT made uh, two mistakes in this case. Okay, so now let's uh, find out the question number seven, and uh, then we can move forward to the professional questions. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna choose the question number 10 so an application running on aws uses an amazon aurora multi azdb oh that's good a cluster deployment for its database when evaluating performance metrics a solution circuit discovered that the database reads uh, reads are causing high input output and adding latency for to the right request against the database what should the solutions architect do to separate the read request from the write request yeah, that's a very good scenario. That's uh, it happens all the time. So let's see whether uh, ChatGPT can answer this question correctly or not. So I'm gonna copy this one in here and I'm gonna paste 
the chat GPT and let's see. So according to chat GPT, the answer should be C, create an Aurora replica. All right, so this is number 10 and uh, let's see whether the answer is uh, number C. Number 10 and ChatGPT got it correct. Wow, so out of seven, ChatGPT answered five correctly. Nice. So uh, after the associate section, now let's move forward to the AWS certified solution circuit professional, the toughest questions. And uh, here we're gonna ask three more questions, then it'll be total uh, 10 in numbers. And, uh, and that's the end of our today's test. Okay, uh, so uh, here are the questions. You can see the question size uh, are also big. Uh, let's ask some questions related to the ports, the networking, see whether ChatGPT is uh, well familiar with uh, networking, computer networking. The question number five is a good one. So a company is launching a new web service on Amazon Elastic Container Service, Amazon ECS cluster. The cluster consists of 100 Amazon EC2 instances company policy requires the security group on the cluster instances to block all inbound traffic except HTTPS, that is port 443. Which solution will meet this requirement? That's a very good real life uh, scenario. All right, so I'm gonna copy this one and I've come here and I'm gonna paste this. And I'm going to chat GPT, it's a uh, Number C, launch the cluster instance with no SSH key pair, use AWS system manager run command to remotely manage the cluster instances. Okay. Okay, C. And the question number five, let's see whether the answer is C. Wow, this is correct. Judge you, this is smart. So it was so kind of like a challenging question, but uh, HPT answered this question correctly. Good job. So question number seven, eight was answered correctly by ChatGPT, and now we do have two more questions left. All right. So uh, let's try to be a little bit more creative. Uh, I'm gonna ask this question question number four a company runs a serverless mobile app that uh, uses uh, amazon uh, api aws lambda function amazon cognito and amazon dynamo db uh, i love uh, serverless because nowadays most of the applications are building on serverless architecture so let's check it out whether chatgpt has a good understanding of serverless architecture that would be fun so during a large surges in traffic uh, users report intermittent system failure the api gateway the api gateway api endpoint is returning http status code 502 bad gateway error to valid uh, request what solution will resolve this issue that's a good question all right so if i go here and paste it in here and ask the same question to chat gpt according to chat gpt the answer is uh, a so I'm sorry, say increase the concurrency quota for the Lambda functions. Okay. So let's go back. This is number four. Let's see the, if the answer is A. That is correct. Smart. I am really amazed. Really, ChatGPT impressed me today. This is, uh, this, this was a tough question, but uh, ChatGPT knows, knows cloud competing. Also, an API gateway will, intermin will intermittently return. Okay, so the four number question were answered correctly by ChatGPT. Now we have one last question, the question number 10. So uh, let's try to find a difficult one for ChatGPT. <laughs> okay, so this is a very, very complex question from my understanding. You can see this question is like. Uh, more than a page in the exam if i just uh, need to uh, if i need to read this question it to take like at least five minutes to understand all of this context 
So I'm gonna ask this question cause 10, it should be a very challenging one, number 10 question. So the question is that company has two AWS accounts, one account for production workload and one account for development workload. A development team and operation team creates an, uh, a create and manages this workload. The company needs a security strategy that meets the following requirement. Developer needs to uh, create and delete development application infrastructure. Operators need to create and delete development and production op application infrastructure. Developer must uh, have no access to the production infrastructure. All user must have a single set of AWS credential. Which strategy will meet these requirements? Oh my God, this question is too big. So uh, I'm gonna copy all of it. This is the ultimate test for ChatGPT. Oh, I'm excited to see. Okay, it took like a second for ChatGPT to answer it. The answer is number D in the prod account. So this uh, configuration, uh, according to ChatGPT, the answer should be option number D. And this is the question number six. And now we're gonna see the answer is uh, uh, D or not. Question six, 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 and indeed it is. So here six, the answer is D. That's impressive. And this is the end of today's test. I really enjoyed this uh, chat GPT test. Uh, we asked 10 questions, three from uh, easy level, uh, four from associate level, medium level, and uh, three from the hardest level, that is the solution circuit professional. And out of 10 questions, eight questions were answered correctly by chat gpt so that means uh, if we do the calculation in percentage rate it's like 80 percent so uh, if a person gets 80 percent mark in in any ws uh, exams the person will pass that exam that means pretty much from my understanding from my way of uh, uh, testing this uh, chat gpt chat gpt knows aws stuff that's for sure uh, just two questions were answered uh, incorrectly and the funny part is that ChatGPT got all the professional level question answers correct just uh, it got two questions uh, wrong that were from the associate the mid level that means ChatGPT is smart I must have to say that i hope you guys enjoyed today's video uh, it, it was a very fun video and uh, uh, also from here we came to know that uh, if we sometimes face any questions any sort of confusions related to cloud computing let, then we can ask those questions to chat gpt and uh, we won't get like 100 percent correct maybe but the chances are 80 percent that uh, chat gpt can answer our uh, cloud related questions correctly thank you guys for watching my videos it means a lot to me uh, if you have uh, any sort of uh, uh, services or any, any sort of discussion that you want to do with me let me know in this comment section and definitely i'll reply back in a very short period of time uh, it means a lot to me whenever you are spending your time to watch the videos that's why i always try my best to uh, uh, provide some sort of value through my video uh, that's all uh, for today guys if you found this video helpful please uh, like and subscribe to my channel because i'm planning to upload more and more videos later cloud computing related to cyber security related to cloud security that's all for today thank you so much